So how can you visualize your data inside Google Analytics 4? Yes, there are some default uh, reports like monetization when you can see some data about transactions uh, like uh, acquisition, engagement, but there is also something better. Um, there is a way you can configure your own reports. And in this video, I want to explain how you can visualize data about each WooCommerce transaction. Uh, if you speak to your site, we send uh, the transaction ID every time we send a purchase event, so for every transaction. And while this is not uh, visible in the default report, I will explain how you can configure your own customized reports to visualize important key information about each WooCommerce transaction. So let's go and see what you can do. So this is the main uh, page, uh, Google Analytics 4, but what you actually need is this part right here, Explore. And uh, let's create a new exploration. Start from blank. Uh, I will try to keep things very simple. Google already has some default explorations, but they're very complex and uh, you might want to have a few uh, customized, very, very simple ones. So let's do uh, one from scratch. Now, uh, I don't need any segments. What I need um, are a few dimensions and metrics. So first I will tell Google what kind of data I will probably use. And I say probably. Uh, for sure transaction ID. You can search or you can uh, go uh, and open each category, for example, e-commerce and transaction ID, as I just did. Uh, I'm also interested in acquisition. Where is it? Maybe here. Yes. Campaign, uh, medium, source, source platform. And... Um, what else? E-commerce, can I see the product? Item ID, item name, yes. Okay, so these are the um, uh, dimensions that I will use. And now I need a few metrics. Uh, definitely I want value. So let's see value, event value. I think there are more, it, it's a bit confusing, but you will, um, purchases, purchase revenue. No, I want purchase revenue actually. Okay, and import. Now, uh, you can simply start to drag and drop um, these values in um, this part of the screen. So for example, I want transaction ID and um, purchase revenue. Okay. So now it's a very simple um, uh, table with uh, the number, uh, the transaction ID and its value. It doesn't tell me much, but it's a good start. What I want now is to see uh, the source of this transaction, who, what generated every single transaction. And now the data becomes more interesting because I have uh, Google, Facebook, and so on. So I can see this transaction ID was uh, generated from a Google search. This one came from Facebook and so on. Uh, I can do a bit more. For example, I can uh, look for the campaign. And now I see this data right here. Uh, this data is taken from UTMs. I will make a different video explaining how you can set up UTMs with your Facebook ads, how you can track them, uh, for example, with Pixel Your Site, because Pixel Your Site also has the capacity to track them. And as you can see, you can uh, use them inside your Google Analytics 4 reports, like I just did. So now the data is really useful because I can tell that this transaction ID was generated from uh, a campaign with UTM uh, campaign equal to catalog new. And this 
might be might be useful for me. Uh, well, I can also drag the item name and I can see which products were in each uh, transaction and stuff like that. But I think this is a, a simple report you can create and you can explore, you can expand, you can customize it the way you need. For example, I can uh, ask for more rows like 50. Now I have more transactions. Uh, I can add a new form, a new yeah form here uh, again and customize it the way I need. So this will be uh, a report, a custom report. If you go back, you have it right here. It's automatically saved and I can actually rename it. Okay, so next time I want to use it, I simply go here and open the report and I see everything. Uh, this is it. This is a very simple video about how you can create a custom report showing you the transaction ID and some valuable info like uh, the transaction source or the campaign related to that particular transaction. I hope you like it. I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, of course, good luck with your uh, ads in general Facebook ads, Google ads, whatever ads you do, TikTok ads. By the way, we have a TikTok uh, support, uh, TikTok tag support as well with Pixel Your Site. So why not?